Hello and welcome. My name is Frank Gaglio and I am the producer of the original 23rd Street Armory Antique Show. Our event started in Philadelphia 14 years ago and we have had a tremendous run of success ever since. Our events uh, presents a number of different uh, genres from American furniture to British silver, paintings, ceramics, textiles, American folk art, and countless other items. We have exhibitors from across the country, uh, approximately 13 states. We have dealers from uh, New Hampshire, New England, uh, from the Midwest, Ohio, uh, as far as Kansas. We have dealers from the southern states, Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, and it's, it's a real good cross-section of uh, the American landscape. In the moonlight when I am safe in your arms All the world seems magic filled with your charms When we are dancing I'm light as air And heaven is here with you And the night is such a wonderful place Here beneath the stars In your fond embrace You hold me close Then you kiss me once more It's heaven just being with you This is probably one of the best uh, American flat top high boys uh, that I've ever seen as long as I've been in business. Uh, it's made out of pine and in the early days in America they took pine furniture and painted it. And this was made about uh, 1750 to 1760. It has verticality which gives it a very nice high rise uh, and very pleasing to the eye. The cabriole in the leg is exceptional. The detail in the skirt, all this cyma curves here are something that you will very seldom see in the finest of high boys. You can see the cabinet maker's original fingerprints with the original paint on it. Uh, this is $75,000 we are asking for this. Mechanical toy banks were produced between about 1870 and 1920 and they were utilized to encourage children in the late Victorian and Edwardian period to save money in a novel comical fashion. Here's a sweet little bank of a mother and her child, a baby frog, and when you place a coin here and press the lever, watch what happens. The legs turns. Here's one of three football players who come in for a tackle and they tackle the ball carrier. This is Harvard, and he wears the blue costume of Yale. That's a famous collegiate rivalry that still exists today. This bank, called the Calamity, because they all butt heads, is worth about $35,000. This particular example here is something that would not have come to America. I bought this in England a few years ago at one of Bonham's London auctions and it's a very early piece of Canton tin glazed enamel ware uh, decorated for the Portuguese market in very very fine intricate design. Uh, we're dating this about 1720. The shape would have been originally made uh, in silver and uh, porcelain followed the designs of silver very closely for a very long time. I, my specialty is are the Art Deco period and specifically American purses, but this is truly my favorite. This is, was made in Great Britain. I think it's probably from the late 20s, early 30s. It's beautiful, in a beautiful condition. It's brown suede, the classical chrome frame, with this intricate braiding done on carved Bakelite with a slide for the lady when she got up to go to her tea dance. It is truly very special. Uh, this particular figure is a penitente figure who would have a procession 
on Good Friday where they would drag this figure behind in a cart and often while they were flagellating themselves. This figure is known in the Southwest as Doña Sebastiana, Lady Sebastiana, but it's also called the Angel of Death. Normally it's seated, this would have been seated in a cart, a small carreta. And this one dates from the third quarter of the 19th century. This is $9,500.